Today we're gonna be talking about breed type. Right here we have some XL American Bullies. This is my boy King. And right now, King is currently probably about just like at 100 pounds. We haven't, we don't overfeed King. You know, as you can see, we like to keep them, keep some muscles on them. You know, we like to keep some muscles on our dogs. And the question, the question is, you know, when is it too much muscle on the dog? When is it too much fat on the dog? When is the dog too skinny? Da 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 da. What should a dog look like? And really, it boils down to the owner, man. You know, it boils down to what the owner and what you like. Hey, get up, get up, boy, get up. King is very active dog, man. Like as you can see. But I got these chains on him so he can really get that extra workout in. His head is extremely large. I mean, it's stupid huge. Get up! King, stop! Oh, look at that deer. Look at that deer. Look at that deer. Showing his stuff. See, I like to keep my good dogs a little, a little athletic. Go get that deer. She ain't gonna go nowhere without me or without him. See that, see that run? Speed, agility. And that's a 90 pound dog right there. You know, she's not 90 right now, but if you feed this dog, it'll be every bit of 95 pounds. These dogs love getting his exercise on, getting his run on. And that's where it becomes, you know, you don't wanna overfeed your dog to the point where it can't run. That's the co-op kennel model. You know, even if we overfeed our dogs, we'll still run them. You know, we're still gonna run our dogs just to get that, 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 you know, get that look, man. So, you know, basically what I wanna say is, man, you know, you can overfeed your dog to try to make them big. You can feed your dog the right way. But, you know, it's ultimately how that dog's lifestyle is, man. The lifestyle of the dog should dictate what you do with your dog. If your dog doesn't do anything, he just sits in a cage and goes to shows, then he doesn't need to be big. But if he's like this guy right here, you don't want to overfeed him too much. Now watch this. This, this head on this dog is huge, y'all. Trust me and believe. Look at my hand. My hand could palm a basketball. His head is the size of a basketball, literally. Now watch this. That's speed. That's speed, y'all. You know, it's like 100 yards that he just took off on, or close to it, you know. Close to 100 yards. Come here, boy. He probably think he's in in, in, in trouble because he know he ran off, but I already expect this from him. He's young. At the end of the day, the breed type, you know, this dog could be way bigger. Your dog's probably way bigger, but you see the muscles on that dog. You know, you don't want to, he's only uh, one and a half years old. You know, it takes uh, XL American Bully about four years to get to this biggest size. So there's no point, there's no need to rush it. A lot of people rush it, and all I do is just see people's dogs just breathing hard, breathing hard. I don't, there's, I, there's not too many XLs that can run like this boy right here. I'm sorry. Okay. Now that's another 100 yards, see what I'm saying? And it might not be 100, but with that weight on his back, and and, and it's, it's gotta be at least, I don't know, it's not 100, it's close though. At least 50, more than 50. Ah, <whistles> oh, buffalo, my dang on ah. Come here, King! <whistles> Come here, boy! 
we're gonna do it one more time but you know the breed style of your dog should dictate you know how does your dog uh live you know do your dog run does your dog just sit in the house in the cage you know so i do believe that a lot of these xl american bullies pocket bullies as well are just overfed because we got a thing out here in baltimore where we run these dogs on treadmills now now i don't have a treadmill you know i used to have like a real live Nordic track treadmill but i messed it up now watch this look king all i'm doing is giving him a signal to run y'all watch this king go go king he's smiling the flowers but you know you want your dog to be the size of the activity that he does man you don't want to make your dog like king could be 140 pounds one day but we'll let him get there with muscle it's gonna be muscle man you know you need to see some cuts and your dog a lot of these dogs are just fat man i'm gonna keep it real with you a lot of y'all dogs can't keep up with my dog i'm sorry Pitbull, American Bully, whatever you got. Come on, King. King. Go. See that? All the way across the field. Now, that's damn near 100 yards right there. And that's three laps. Or oh, four. He's gassed out, you know. But he ain't on the ground. Come on, King. And he's just like really getting warmed up right now. He actually was outside in the yard all night long running around. But one thing I can tell y'all is putting the dog outside in the yard is not exercise. See the muscles? King! Now watch this. This is gonna be this last lap, y'all. King! Athena! Go! Go! He's, he's tired, but not really too tired. He just wants to have a little fun. He's looking for a stick. But he is tired. Actually, he was probably running around all night long chasing rats and shit. But I'm about to give him a big bowl of food because we're going to try to put a little bit more weight on him. But we're going to at least try to give him four cups of food a day. You know, I've been giving him chicken and all that different stuff. But yeah, you, you know, basically you want your dog to be in the shape for the activities you got him in. A lot of y'all rush the process and I ain't going to lie, I would rush the process too if I only had one dog. I would rush the process like hell. But there's no point to rush the process. You can work your dog out slowly and pace out the growth and development of the dog. You don't gotta like overfeed the dog, over supplement the dog. Especially if it's a puppy, especially if it's an XL. No matter what you do to your XL, he ain't gonna be able to mess with the biggest and baddest dog that's three or four years old. It, it, it's just impossible because those dogs are so massive it takes years for them to put that size and mass on. So what I'm doing is I'm developing the muscle structure on my dogs, the bones, the ligaments. And when he gets older, we'll put more weight on him. You know, come on. There's no point to rush it, man. You know what I'm saying? He looks a lot bigger than what he really weighs, but he could actually be it. <laughs> I could put 50 pounds on this dog, but just like, you put a lot of weight on him and, you know, it's not good for the body. You want him to grow slow and, and steady. His head is huge though. You know, we just want him to be pretty athletic because I want him to be the baddest dog in the neighborhood, man. There are other dogs out here, but we gotta have the baddest. Go! Like I said, you know, there's many different styles of dogs, man. You got those dogs that go in the shows. And those dogs are huge. They ain't out running King. I'll tell you that right now, but King is right at 100 pounds. So we're gonna get him back over to about 110, 115, and probably keep him no more than 125 when he's when he's all set and done. But a lot of times, you know, I think that these bullies can be thinned out and can be put in shape, but I think it's a big rush to try to make them as big and as bulky as possible. And all I ever see people dogs doing is sitting around. Come on. All I see people dogs doing is sitting around and breathing hard. Come on. Just sitting around and breathing hard, sitting around and breathing hard, sitting around and breathing hard. 
No muscles. Not one muscle on the dog. All you see is fat. I don't care how big your dog is. This motherfucker, that dog can't run and chase a ball. Now you see, this dog just ran basically like two, 200 yards, 300 yards, whatever. But he was outside running all night, but this dog can definitely run, you know, shit. He can run the football field four or five times for sure. But that's what I'm saying. You got to keep your dog in the shape that you want it in. Come on. You know, don't blow the damn dog up. Then try to run the dog in the heat. Try to have it. Hey, come here. Get over here. Hard-headed dogs, you gotta be tough on them, y'all. You can't be soft on these kind of dogs. They'll take advantage of somebody soft. But you know, definitely King is gonna get a lot bigger. But I don't need him that big. Whoever wanna F with my dog can F with him. Or F with my blood. Or F with what, what I got going on. Y'all dogs ain't running like this. He look, he ain't breathing hard or nothing. He ain't breathing hard. He a little gassed out, but look, she ain't breathing hard. They just ran hundred yards. So that's how your dog should, you know, can look if you get an XL American Bully. A lot of people don't like XL American Bullies or Bullies because they think they're going to be breathing hard, this and that. Watch, let's check it one more time. King, go get him. You know, they think they're going to be running, you know, breathing hard and can't do no activities. It's not true. But if you overfeed them, it will become true. That's what I think a lot of people are doing too much of that. But at the same time, he's young, and when he get older, he probably will fill out. But we'll we'll still be able to do exercises, and we'll still we'll still keep it real with you on what he can do and what he can't do. It's summertime, so we're gonna keep him real lightweight. You know, keep him real light because you never know when we're gonna be out training, and then he gonna overheat. Athena's got that. You know, she we ain't worrying about her. She good. She good, y'all. We out.